The earnings are on in full swing. Uh, Punjab National Bank's uh, first quarter numbers have beaten street estimates, though asset quality has deteriorated for the bank. Pranoy is standing by uh, looking at those numbers. Pranoy, what can you tell us about PNB now? Uh, where do things stand uh, looking at these numbers? That's right. So it's a beat in terms of the profit as well as the NII number. However, NP, gross NPAs and net NPAs have ex, uh, expanded marginally. So let's start with the profit number is up 10% at close to 1400 crores. Uh, estimate was of close to 1000 crores. So a beat on that number. As far as the net interest income is concerned, up 12% on a year on year basis at marginally higher than 4300 crores. The net interest margins, that crucial number coming in at 3.42%. So a 22 basis point expansion on a sequential basis. And remember, the management has guided for uh, 3.42%. 0.25% uh, NIM number for FY15. As far as uh, certain me other metrics go, uh, the uh, provisions have uh, come down. That's a positive coming in. Pos uh, provisions have reduced by almost 60%, coming down to almost 930 crore levels. The gross NPAs have expanded to 5.48% versus 5.25% sequentially. As far as the net NPAs go, come in marginally higher than 3% from a 2.85% sequential number. Uh, let's listen in to what the management has to say about asset quality going forward. Going forward, we feel that there should be a, a lot of improvement in this area because uh, the asset quality has got a direct linkage to the status of the economy. And uh, there is a lot of positive sentimism, uh, sentiments we have seen in the economy and uh, uh, a lot of optimism is there. The government has also initiated a lot of steps to resolve the issues which have led to stress on the asset quality by facilitating the, these assets, which are, uh, you know, uh, the, some of the projects which are stalled to put into them into production. So with this uh, efforts from the government side and the economy picking up together, I am sure that the, the stress on asset quality should come down in the quarters to come.